Hello everybody, welcome back to this video. Welcome if this is your first time and you're here because of the title, which essentially, it is a wonderful day um, to color your hair Arctic Fox Aquamarine. <laughs> I thought I'd do a good old, um, kind of process video and then a little before and after. If you are here, I'm just gonna clear, clear this right now. If you're here just to see the before and after, on hair that is similar to mine. Um, I will put a timestamp somewhere up here. You just click there, you go take what you need, see what you wanna see. If you are here for the full story, uh, grab some snacks and a nice little drink. We're gonna talk about this stuff and put it on my hair and do a little chit chat. So, wow, okay. This is part of my um, summer experimentation. I think every summer I like to do something just like a little more interesting. I think last year I got a lash lift for fun. Um, this summer, we're gonna tie my hair blue. I am currently on vacation. I've got two months off of work. So I have some time to experiment and I don't have to you know, go back to a more natural color, professional professional color until September. This is meant to be semi-permanent, although I have heard from some people that it doesn't always completely wash out of your hair. We'll, we'll just have to see, like if worse comes, you know, whatever, we'll figure it out then. I always wanted to try like interesting hair, but just, it was a lot of commitment, you know? And I've heard a lot of great reviews about Arctic Fox. There are lots of these more rainbow colored um, semi-permanent hair dyes out there. I know Joyco makes some. I know Jerome Russell makes like real old school ones. I know Manic Panic is super popular. Arctic Fox is newer on the market, but rave reviews. Um, a whole range of colors and then you can do some mixings if you like. I was really on the fence. Um, Aquamarine pulls quite blue. As you can see, actually, I took the little cap off, so I'm gonna show you the cap of what it actually looks like. Pull is quite blue, and I've seen some girls do the aquamarine with a splash of phantom green to get that real teal color, which looks beautiful, but it just seems like a lot of stuff to buy, and I wasn't sure if I was, you know, gonna be that committed. So here's a couple of things that could happen. On my currently very splotchy, amateur, DIY bleach job. <laughs> um, this could either just neutralize and cancel out a lot of the orangey brassy bits and just turn brown, or it might pull a little green, or it might actually be blue. Nobody knows until I put this on my hair. Um, I have been coloring my own hair kind of on and off since high school. I think a lot of people kind of get into hair color at that time in their lives and. By the end of high school, by like 12th grade, I got it down to an art. Like I had a whole routine, a whole system. Um, couldn't say my hair was the most healthy, but you got Asian hair, you work with it. It's pretty resilient. <laughs> um, and then for, you know, a while I went to a professional and they did their, their wonderful thing. But with, um, when COVID came in and you really just needed to pick me up, what else do you do except the teenager thing of let's, bleach out your hair and do stuff to it. So I haven't done my own hair in a very, very long time. And I forget the fact that even if you know what you're doing, you can't freaking see, you can't see. <laughs> so I did get some amateur help. And uh, this is the result of the amateur help. Like I bought all the products, like all the mix-ins and, and kind of try to teach, but you know, this is what we're ending up with and that's okay. Everybody tries their best. But we're gonna throw some of this on and we will see how it goes. Now they say to use on shampooed hair, shampooed and dry hair. So that's what I've done. This is like my natural texture, just washed this morning. And they say to leave in the hair at least 30 minutes. I've heard people who left it in their hair for like two to three hours. That feels a little intense, I don't know. Especially because I've also heard that this may not wash out completely. So mm. wear gloves, petroleum jelly, um, put on with a plastic cap and process with heat slash blow dry for 15 minutes if you want more intense color and then just rinse on cold water. Um, we will see how this goes. So I'm gonna go roll up and um, throw some Arctic Fox Aquamarine in my hair.
welcome back this is the result of the hair now today is Tuesday I colored my hair kind of middle of the day on Sunday so I'm gonna call it about two days I have not shampooed from the original coloring um, the instructions were to start with clean shampooed hair put the product in let it sit and then just rinse out without any further shampooing or anything like that because I think you know they want some time for the color to really get into the hair and so this is second day second third day hair I did style it for you here the clips that um, you will see of the immediate before and afters with my hair just blow dried straight is the actual like of the day but I wanted to give you the option of seeing it with it styled up so actually let me do a little turnaround and try to crash anything else that is around here so I just styled it with a curling iron like I usually would and I have a little bit of like a texturizing spray in my hair so that's the back it's actually really warm today of course I got lazy on Monday and didn't want to film and today is one of the hottest days of the month and I decided today is the day I'm going to film so we're going to try to do this in one take real quick so we can like turn on all the things and open the windows and uh, survive the day I think we're geared up for 37 degrees but since I'm in an apartment and I'm kind of like facing the sun in a weird way I'm anticipating probably closer to 40 but anyways that's the backstory the story of this hair let's talk about it um i had purchased the larger size the eight fluid ounce or 236 milliliter of the arctic fox aquamarine now remember when i started off my hair was quite brassy slash orange in the photos it looks a bit more orange than what it actually is so when i put this over it quite a bit of the areas turn more of a greenish blue now I know loads of people want that teal kind of shade so if you're starting off with kind of brassy hair by nature of how the colors layer you will get a bit of green in your hair um, the parts that were much darker more of a darker brown it really soaked up the color and just it was it's a very very dark blue at the moment in those darker parts of my hair so if you look at any of these under layers you can't really see any of the color at all and that's not just because of my my current setup in the apartment but really it's hard to tell in the under layers um you do so you do need quite kind of lightened hair or to have your base start out quite light what color <laughs> you end up having really really depends on your base um, if you had pre-color with a different color, like say a red, and you layer this over, you're probably going to get more of a purple tinge. Like I had the brassy, kind of orangey, and it went a bit more greenish. You know, so it depends on where you're starting out with. Um, it's not, it's very likely not going to turn exactly the shade of what you see. And I would say this color they have on the bottle is slightly different than how the product comes out. The consistency of the product is very very thick it's more of like a buttercream consistency so it's not like regular hair dye where you just kind of squeeze it on and rub it in um, I would say the best application method is with a bowl and a brush or with glove hand always glove we'll talk about the staining in a second and just really work it in so my process of doing this I sectioned off my hair I started from the bottom and pulled the bottom hair to the front so I can work on it um, I'm really glad I got the larger size because I pro I would say I have about maybe this much left but it really took almost a full bottle to saturate my entire head of hair and I would say if you have fully lightened hair like everywhere and you want to be really thorough you probably would go through the whole bottle so starting from the bottom I worked my way up I took really large sections because 
I figured it would take forever and it was getting my arm tired. So I did take very large sections. Now with that being said, you will have to make sure you, you know, split the hair open and really rub it in and work it in really well. Because what tends to happen with thick consistency is you coat the outside but doesn't really get to the inside parts of the hair if you take a large section. So do be careful of that. You really want to like massage it with your hands, make sure the insides, outsides all saturated and really rub it in. Once I got to every last bit of my hair, from then I timed an hour. I would say it took about half an hour for me to like apply the whole head and then from the full hour after I finished, I went all the way up to the top. So some of the bottom parts got an hour and a half or so and the top parts got about an hour. So that's how I ballparked it. I um, put my hair in a shower cap. It was not drippy because of the thicker consistency, it really stayed on my head which is great for that. Staining. Let's talk about staining. Um, my nails are a bit better because I had some clear nail polish on and I, like, I wore gloves through the whole process. But even as you were like rinsing out your hair, wear the gloves, okay? Because you will get it everywhere. Do, don't get lazy. Do the whole petroleum jelly all the way around the hairline. Take off your earrings or whatever that you're wearing. Um, put on gloves the whole way through, especially as you're rinsing because so much dye gets in the bathroom. So much. Even right now, if I like scratch my scalp or like rub my hair, I will get blue on my fingers. I bleed smurf everywhere. I had some like white headphones that I was wearing, like the ones with the ear cups. And I was so careful, I actually put a scarf around my most of my hair and then put the headphones on. But I guess a bit of the hair on the side rubbed off onto the ear cups, which are white. And now my white headphones have a bit of smurf on them. So you really want to be careful. Now, granted, I haven't done my first shampoo and I really anticipate a lot of the color will rinse out and shed naturally in the first two to three shampoos. But in the process though, until then, you're really going to get blue everywhere. You just have to be really careful. I'm thinking about if you have leather car seats, like light color car seats, beware of that just at least for the first while because generally speaking a lot of dye comes out the first couple of washes and then it plateaus out you know what i mean um so yes if you get stuff which you will um in your bathroom i have a shower and the bottom of my shower is not porcelain it's not plastic it's a strange kind of it's white but it's a strange material that the blue really stayed. I didn't like leave it on there or anything. Just by rinsing out my hair in the drain, like near the drain, the whole area stayed blue. So the thing that worked for my shower best was this stuff. I started off with some of the, um, well, I need to look it up, the green bottle, the cleaner, like a more natural one. Didn't cut it. Like it took some of it out, but I sprayed this on, let it sit for a bit, and really scrubbed it out. This is the Lysol um, with hydrogen peroxide. So probably it is just the hydrogen peroxide that's doing the job in there. And then after the first scrub, I sprayed this on, worked it in, like foamed it up, and left it there overnight. And then scrubbed it one more time in the morning. And I believe that has taken out any residual blue, but my shower was really blue. So really be careful about where this gets. Wear the cape, plastic cover your bathroom, like I'm serious. <laughs> if you don't want to be cleaning up or you rent, um, just be careful of the dye. Um, it was hard to tell when to stop rinsing my hair when I was washing it out. I knew I was rinsing off a lot of, you know, just the color product, but I also knew that if I just kept rinsing, it would just kind of be blue forever and no one just rinse off all the dye. So it was confusing to know when to stop rinsing, but at some point I decided if my hair no longer felt gunky from the product, I should just get out of the shower. You know, so you have to make that call. Your water is not gonna run clear like the way you do with traditional hair dye. Um, it will just continually run blue or whatever color that you've got. Um, if you get any around your hairline or wherever, 
body scrub, facial scrub, little exfoliator around the edges. Like even with the petroleum jelly or coconut oil, whatever that you want to use, you might get a little around your skin. A little bit of a scrub will take it right off. I found that to be the easiest. Anything on my hands, I just did a little exfoliating scrub. Most of it was gone. You are going to get a lot of transfer. Like I said, this is the part that annoys me. And I know it's probably a natural process of doing semi-permanent dyes, but I've also done more natural colored semi-permanent dyes, and those didn't do these things. But probably because they were natural color and I couldn't tell. But with these bright colors, they just stain everything. I'm still having to be really careful what I touch. Um, I sleep with like a head scarf wrap thing so it doesn't get all of my pillows. I bought a sacrificial towel in a dark color so I don't get my nice towels. You know stain so those are all the things you have to think about now now i've been talking for like 10 minutes let's wrap this up do i like this yes in terms of the result it is super vibrant it surprised me how vibrant it turned out to be um like i had bleach here and i knew it would show up some but in the light right now it is gloriously like saturated there's a lot of saturation um am i happy with the results for myself i'm not sure like i'm not sure if this is my job and i stand where i stand where it's like if i never try it i'm always going to be thinking what it's like to have like this color kind of hair or just bright hair um and this was the best time for me to try it while i'm on summer break and it, you know it's semi-permanent it might stain a little and i'll work on this when i start staining it probably will stain a little um but at the same time now that i've done it i think it's a lot of upkeep so unless i'm going to do it in a permanent dye which i probably won't um it may not be worthwhile for someone in my lifestyle and for me to keep doing it like this just the the mess and the transfer situation is a lot for me but the results are beautiful and if you look at the before and after clips or photos i think you would agree it turned out in terms of the color and the saturation absolutely beautifully so i haven't actually showed my mother that my hair is blue i'm going to see her this weekend she might freak out um maybe i won't tell her it's semi-permanent we'll see but i'm anticipating a lot of this to wash out in a bit and if i remember in a couple of weeks or so maybe a month i'll try to come back to this video and leave a comment on how it washed out over time but for now this is my hair that's the uh, quick blurb about the arctic fox aquamarine i hope you enjoyed this video if you want um, ways to keep up with me check the deets down below otherwise i will talk to you very soon in our next video take care everybody bye